eh, yeah, tuko kwa set Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to At His Feet podcast. This is Steadfast Pursuit where we not only seek to know God, but also making, making him known. And today we have a wonderful discussion and we appreciate all of you for continuously joining us uh, throughout um, every video that we put out. Um, as I have said that we have a very interesting discussion today on red and green flags in relationships. Um, by the time you're watching this, you're well into the Valentine period, uh, February being the month of love. And we just wanted to talk about uh, issues that concern you in matters relationships. And we thought that red and green flags are a good uh, place to start. And today we have a wonderful panel with us. As usual, my name is Denver. I, all of you know me by now. And um, I have from the farthest end, we can introduce ourselves and then we get into the discussions for today. Uh, thanks so much, Denver. Uh, my name is Yufre Smuli. They always say love is in the air. So when it's in the air, they push the flags. So you realize. Are they red or green? So today, the love in hell, man, will show us <laughs> if it will be green or red, depending on the people interact. Hey, you first love me, come on, Love is in there, you know, in a peperusha bender. I just want to be kind of red, I'm any green. Aha. Well, good, good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Joshua Mwangangi. I'm excited to be in here. And I look forward to a meaningful engagement about red and green flags. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, by the time in a premiere, itakuwa evening. But ile time in utaku na watch, receive that greeting. Yes. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm Maureen Komen. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, looking forward to having a fruitful conversation with all of us. Welcome. Santa Sana Maureen, Jeshuna uh, Euphrates. Yeah, um, all of us are members of the AIC Milimani Youth Ministry, and uh, we just thought we can have this discussion. Uh, it's clear that at the Kanisa, what we are going to do mapenzi. Kwa nini mapenzi? Ukiambia mtu mapenzi, nafikiria ni tabia mbaya. But uh, we are commanded to love. Yes, so maybe just to have a feel about who we are uh, here, Tuneza, um, probably Jua, what uh, guys do and how your week has been. So maybe Tuneza Anza na Joshu. Mekua aje tangu mwaka yanze and what do you do that the audience might want to uh, know and relate with? Okay, thank you, Denver. Um, my year has been great so far. Um, I think this is one of the first paced Januaries that I'm having. Um, I'm not used to a January that is so fast paced, uh, especially you now that people are recovering from the holidays, but um, I'm glad it is and God has sustained me. So um, generally, um, I'm an IT practitioner. Um, that is like my my way of life or uh, what I do for a living and in church um, in the music team yeah thanks yeah nice usi shanga yaksema January mekimbia sana na na tuko February by the time tuna record bado tuko tuko January so tuende kwa Euphrase alafu Maureen oh me in Utman the Kanairo Lani mwaka ikofiti Ikofiti in many ways By the fact that Tunangalea green flag Ikofiti What I do in this Nairobi Mimi I'm a pharmacist by training Kwa hivyo Na usikana na madawe Lalishwa na serekali Kwa hivyo I'm not a drug dealer Not a peddler I'm not a peddler. Kwa hivyo, musikuja inbox, mkusema, oh, can I get the number? Yeah. Uh, Kwa hivyo, dama wadao. 
sawa sawa aha morim oh yeah the the year started off well mwaka imekuwa mzuri so far so good hey, i can't complain i'm a student pursuing bachelor's in economics and statistics but hey, i'm a crochet preneur that is my side hustle and i'm so passionate about it so looking forward to having a wonderful year since january manza vizuri pia we are hoping kuwa na mwaka fit yeah at kianza tu hapo umesema wewe ni crochet preneur maybe unaweza tushonea hii flag um sometimes um maybe a question yenye nimekuwa nikijiuliza about history of red flags na na green flags is it something that mtu inafaa kukuwa secret ya mtu yenye umejiwekea for you to just observe ama it's something that you can publicly tell someone uh, maybe mtu mwenye anaku approach ama mtu mwenye una date by the way these are my my red flags ndio ajue whether ata conform ama ni siri yako ndio ukiona tu mwambie by the way it's not giving yeah so this is what i personally believe eh uh, the red flags in unaona ni kama they are deal breakers the red flags that unaona it's like this if this person knows about them they won't continue being with me or they want to continue pursuing me so those red flags i feel like you need to keep them to yourself and work on them but if there are red flags that someone can mtu anaweza anaweza entertain or mtu anaweza you can work with you can share with the person tell them especially things like maybe time management there are people who are so poor in time management and maybe if that is your red flag and you are working on it you need to let the other person know or maybe the red flags that are so visible zenye zinaonekana on a daily basis you need to tell that person and let them know that you are working on them mm. if there's wave red flags inafaa ikuwe ni secret ama inafaa publicize ndio watu wajue na wa align uh, kitu ya kwanza before unjua naweza kuwa kuna mtu wako pale anaocha na shanga red flag nini so mm. i think red flag in a relationship mm. ile kitu kiona it at either a tra- character trait or a personality or a behavior yenye unaona you cannot cope with ukiingia kwa relationship na huyu mtu mm. uh, na green flag is the character trait ama personality ama behavior ya mtu yenye ukiona you aspire to be with that person So from that foundational definition it may not be the the perfect one but you can build from it going forward so uh, do i need to there are some red flags like a character trait or personality mm-hmm. that is inborn because if uh, i'm a sagwin uh, i cannot hide being a sagwin if i'm introverted and someone con- uh, uh, perceives introverts to them they cannot cope with them so to them that may be a perceived red flag it may not be really a red flag yeah. but if it's a character trait or a behavior that maybe i know there are things that i do that um there may be weakness or i've been struggling or an addiction that i got myself into some of them i may decide or uh, there is something that uh, because i'm married a, a lady so nikiona dem ako na addiction ya hii kitu mm. kama tuseme bangi mm. mimi siwezi kubali akuwe bibi yangu kwa hivyo mm. nitamwambia au try by the way mimi si date mtu anavutaga bangi mm. so there are things that i know of, either some addictions that i clearly state out to a person i'm meeting out but there are others i'll keep myself because they are entirely observatory uh, you need to observe it observatory so mm. you for you to when you observe it then you can ask them Uh, there is something that I've observed of over time that we have been interacted and I realized one two three four five mm. is it something you are struggling with is it all that because I know I may not cope with this thing so it's a mixture so some of them you may state uh, but others you may just keep it to yourself and as the relationship progresses maybe you can be um, engaging the person in a conversation now maybe sasa when you mesema red flags na green flags 
maybe hata twende pia kwa hiyo story ya green flags kuna ile yenye uh, it may not necessarily be a trait uh, but it's it's just born out of um, feelings that because of this feeling i have it's an it, it's a green flag yeah so i think uh, when you mesema there are some things that uh, we have uh, there are two things that uh, we can bring on the discussion one is called one is fantasy mm. and another is experience because experience and fantasy can be source of either you perceiving this thing to be a green flag or you perceiving this to be a red flag mm. uh, let me explain fantasy uh, there are some that you want this uh, like mtu uh, well beautiful ladies maybe unataka dem wenye ame ako na figure fiti yenye uh, uliona kwa magazine eh uh, uso ya you understand kwa kama hiyo ni ukiona mtu ako na those fantasy yenye uko nayo kwa akili zako mm. ama kwa roho yako wewe unajiwekea ile ni green flag mm. so ni yeye anji prove otherwise na vitu ata behave ama uh, maybe from your previous relationship ama your upbringing kuna vitu ulifanywa na ukasema ukiona mtu anataka kufanyia hiyo kitu huyo mtu ni red flag kwako so experiential eh uh, experience and you may experience over time they can cause you to have perceived red flags or perceived green flags apo kwa perception nani joshu maybe uki eh sasa ile una una interact na na watu tuseme hata hapa eh kwa youth ministry yetu like unaweza angalia tu watu unasema tu eh naona ma red flags kadha ama pia hiyo ni ni perception um sijui kama if if that happens like you can look at a group of people and then you can highlight that hey kuna ma red flags nimeona kama ine ama sita hivyo uh, that's a good question uh, for me um, i would say it depends on whether i've interacted with a person so that i can get to know that so and so from my interaction with them i can point out a b c and d which can be a red flag or can be a green flag but if it's just um if it's just from a perception as you phrase is saying i can't really just meet someone the one and i say that ah, so and so looks like they could be having a red flag in this and this area so i have to have interacted with the person so that i can be able to point out that such and such an aspect is a red or a green flag mm. Nani, uh-huh. yeah to add on that on what joshua said so for you to start pointing out red flags and green flags in someone you must have an interest kwa lazima ukue uko na some kind of interest either to be in a relationship with them or to get to know them more so there are some red flags which unaweza angalia to in a group of people na ujue one red flag in unaweza angalia ni how the let's say boundaries how someone maybe he if, if it's a man how does he relate with 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 female does he have boundaries or wako tu hapo ni ku kuongea any only or maybe kushika or maybe kushika shika watu in not a really good way mm. so there are red flags which you can observe them so you can observe how someone interacts with people even things to do with 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 like hasira mm. you can tell if if like come to an react aje akikuwa provoked in a group of people yeah. so uh, in terms of yo um mention kitu ya ya boundaries mm. uh, and sometimes uh, maybe you would get that for for people sometimes even for a group of men sometimes unasikia ngati eh umse tulikuanga na e, like alikuwa best yetu sana until apate dem akatu akatutoka um so there could be probably from the men's perspective yeah by the my friends uh, nina keep my friends eh hata niki nikioa they will still be my friends but then there is the point where now they have gotten um a spouse or a girlfriend and now there is now what now you want us 
boundaries uh, you you are creating these boundaries how how would you now as from a lady's perspective um try and probably help the man keep his connections without necessarily having to um to break the the bond that now the two of you are building uh i think the first thing is just having good communication with that person uh communicate to that person and communic- tell him in a good way you can start by saying i love how you are friends with this person or this group of people but at some point you are in another phase of your life any of course you are in a relationship so there are some boundaries una fa ku keep isikuwe if maybe it's a man who con a lady friends umeenda ku hang out at late to 12 people are coming for sleepovers iso me overstep so you communicate mm. let the person know what you can tolerate there are some people who they have like wako na mabeshte wengi and they love to hang out every time kuna watu waizi ka peke yao they must be in a group of people so mm. let that person know what you can tolerate tell him i or or her, i can handle this i can handle this i cannot handle if it's ako na mabeshte wengi madam it's not you cannot necessarily tell them to cut off the friendship like who are check our friends now but you can tell them this is how far you can go with your friendship yeah just so, communicate so that's I have a question the... to Maureen, huh? mm-hmm. uh sometime when you tell someone mimi niko hivi uh unamwambia mimi by this spend mtu wenye umesema na yeye akwambie na mimi niko hivyo so how do you progress because there are some people who say mimi niko hivi alafu ukimwambia uh na yeye anakuambia si hata mimi niko hivyo so inakuwa ni kama dreadlock ya competition which version of each other should you adopt at the best eh kwa mtu akikwambia mimi spend when una hang out na madem eh wengi madem wanakukall wanaku text usiku ni ma video call sio nini wanakwambia na mimi oh mimi napenda ubesti kama besti yangu na means ya communication yangu na mabesti zangu ni video calls so at what point do you say when you are mistit ako hivyo this is a red flag ama when you are mistit ako hivyo this is not a red flag Mm. Personally there are some things I don't believe kwa mtu atasema mimi niko hivi. Okay, I don't believe in mimi niko hivi personally. Mm-hmm. I believe in this is how I do things but I'm I'm willing to work on them. So it's f- like okay, when you tell that person ukimwambia your concerns kwa I don't like this na kuambie mimi niko hivi if you again go ahead and tell them to try and work on them na a stick on me niko hivi so it's upon you like to choose if can you like can you handle it can you handle that can you tolerate that so if you cannot tolerate you now walk away it becomes now a deal breaker it's no longer a red flag it becomes a deal breaker to you in a kwa i cannot like i cannot be with you because of these and these and these. Yeah, nashusha nyavo. If someone if if someone is not ready to work on something, especially the things that that are working, like you cannot say mini ko hivi. When it comes to, okay, kuna wase usema at mimi sipendi kushika simu. Mtu anakupatia reason, I didn't text you because sipendi kushika simu or mimi sipendi kuwa kwa social media. That's something you can work on. You can work on trying to do this for the for that person you love trying to communicate trying to text for that person you love but it's some kama ni kitu yenye wewe uwezi handle mtu akikwambia mimi niko hivi and you can't handle that shusha nyavu kanyaga kubwa kubwa by the way unajua mkishusha nyavu unashusha nyavu uvue kitu eh si bwana mkubwa aliambia eh simoni simoni sasa wakati alikuwa na anajua nyavu <laughs> alikuwa anapata bountiful uh, fish catch 
So never put a new catch. Just to add. maybe just in the end, who are looking in in a he that um, kuna kuna is what they make a if the one one of the things ni ku set boundary na ni boundary yenye itaku limit in terms of interaction yako na na your friends. Is it something that for you uh, becomes a red flag ama it's something that you are also willing to compromise for the sake of the relationship between the two of you okay okay jibu pamoja na you okay so um okay let me first of all like finish on that point ya morin there's something that you first said um that someone tells you this way the way i am and and then morin went on further to highlight that you can work someone can work on that thing hmm. like kama nizo ma video calls at night ama boundaries as you're saying so if someone is really into you or has interest in making the relationship work i believe that they can work on themselves they, like if they know that you're not um you're not pleased with making those calls at night someone can can say that hey you know what i can tell my friends uh, i'm in a relationship and i would want to it's something that you can work on the, the it becomes a red flag if someone just is so it's not flexible i would say and just say you know what um, i can't kind of do away with this because uh, that way you will not be kind of marching towards a common objective that would be my take and then um coming to your question i don't know compromise here you mean like me changing no uh, the compromise is um once once you are establishing between you now and and your girlfriend mm-hmm. that uh these are the boundaries yes. or this is the boundary and the boundary means that your interaction with your friends becomes limited in some way so for you would you consider that as probably a deal breaker when you na say more or it's something that you feel like now be, for the sake of the relationship that you're having with your girlfriend that this now is uh, something that you're willing to to tolerate not to tolerating but to compromise to on. compromise okay uh, i got your question so uh, for for me i would uh, i would go with the um, or or my take would be i would be willing to if 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 having um if having those connections or having those interactions is if i'm required to minimize on them then or i would require someone to minimize on those connections or those interactions then i would say that um it's something i would be willing to compromise on and also i would also expect an, the other party to mm. compromise on reason being um if it is likely to bring issues or to break the relationship then if you continue making those interactions and the other party is not happy then most likely like mambo yataenda mrambo na sasa kama bestie wake ni mwanaume so then if i can chip in yeah. i think we all agree that one of the effects of love is change kila mtu akipenda mtu lazima change ukisikia oh mimi mkuna mtu ana ni change ni venye unja pendwa ukipendwa uta change but when it comes to boundaries there are two types of boundaries because in everything we have healthy boundaries and unhealthy boundaries now what do we mean by healthy boundaries these are things that you know if for us to flourish or to continue in this relationship there are some things that i need to change because of this person if uh, you are a person who does not pick calls then what is your way of communication it's either mkwen muamie muishi pamoja na mmoja atenda sokoni na mwingine na utashika simu mtaachana kwa hiyo there are things you need to change either so those are things that there are boundaries you need to set or some change that you bring you need to bring in your life that are going to make the relationship flourish kama mimi ni mse wa mandem 
Uh, so sheka lazima ni ensure au au mademu niko nao wanajua niko na demu wenye nataka kuoa. Mm. Na lazima wamheshimu na wajue yuko. Kwa hiyo kuna time yangu na yeye. But what are an healthy relationships? Something like isolation. Ule mkidate anakuambia hataki kukuwa na marafiki. Mm. Because those maybe those are just uh, fears. Huyo ni mtu mwenye ako na um, fears, ako na um, insecurities and I feel insufficient. They bring boundaries to your life to ensure that they hone you and you're just girlfriend, boyfriend. You're not wife. Other mm-hmm. wife is not on you. Mm-hmm. So those isolation practices, those are an healthy boundaries. So Kiona Mutu, as much as there need to be boundaries, there are boundaries that is assigned this mm-hmm. someone who is obsessive. Mm-hmm. This is someone who is eventually, in case of misunderstanding, other than kukudunga kisu. So those, as much as people need boundaries, then they need to categorically healthy or an healthy boundaries depending on the kind of relationship that you are having. Kuna kwa nga na e statement enyo atu usemanga ati for their relationships, they want their relationship to be to be private. And by private, ni kama you feel like they are almost ni kama wanaiweka chini ya maji sana so that people do not know what is happening uh, with them so that they can't speculate or do anything the idea some have is that if your relationship is public then if you have issues within the relationship you will have to talk about them publicly and if you're ending the relationship it will also be public mm. but if it's private itafanyika chini ya maji na na kama ni kuisha pia itaishia tu chini ya maji na everyone eh, anaendelea na maisha yake eh, kama kawaida so maybe for you Maureen, if if uh, relationship yako maybe your boyfriend ameamua ku kuikanyagia ama ku publicize to you uh, according to you which one would you uh, in your own perspective you feel like hi for this one uh, inaweza kuwa either deal breaker ama ni red flag ama ni green flag pia ukitaka ku kuiweka so uh, kuweka relationship private i personally take it as a green flag but si private kwa kila mtu hata kama you guys decide tunaeka relationship chini ya maji there are two or three people should know that you guys are dating yeah two or three people should know so that just in case you know human beings are human beings just in unajua unaweza kuweka relationship private with different motives mm. mtu atasema anaeka relationship private because anataka kwenda kusuka mtu mwingine mahali unaona mm-hmm. So kuweka relationship private is it's healthy and also it prevents easy parties zingine unajua si kila mtu ana wish the best and pia utapata the person you are dating akona some other ma crush wengine mahali mm-hmm. so kuweka private it okay it really helps to what will, how will i put it like as in it was idea to handle things in a very good way mm. in that nobody knows nobody knows what's going on but th- that relationship sh- should be private if both parties know what they want so that uh, uh, because you know it's so you must hear and i think i have a lot of interest in that being private public relations mm. there is a reason every strategy in life whether personal life business life must have its own objective mm. so uh, if the objective of us having the strategy of being private is for us to know first know each other that will be okay because it will, it will also mean what do we mean when we say private does it mean are you dating no mean because single but i wanted to make it private because ni kesema na date wala niweza na date nani so arana ni sumbuliwe na date nani mimi nitakuwa nasema niko single so that, so nasema mimi niko single niko single niko single niko single so are ile siku utaachwa wewe ukamia marafiki zako umeachwa because all through you have been privately single or privately dating so no no 
So, so the strategy of making it private should be for a timeline and with an objective. Then after you have achieved that objective within that set timeline, you can now gradually start making known. First, maybe to your close friends or to your family or that. Because the reason why people uh, object making relationships public is because of PDA. There are people who are very obsessed and excited that they are finally have someone who can say, sweetheart, machine mm -hmm. power. Then they start to work on Facebook and make Instagram and make Twitter and make a, and then uh, a, TikTok, TikTok. Uh, and then um, <laughs> and I call Radio Njambo and I call uh, mm -hmm. uh, so every strategy should have an objective and once the objective is achieved then you progress to the other level what 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 about uh, because you're you're dating and you also want to um, not to compromise on anything you're, you're stating that you are dating publicly and everyone knows this is the person you're dating. But now the things that you're doing, how Hamzifani uh, publicly, but then things sasa, yeah? things like, like now uh, things to do with how you're relating. Unona kama issues in your message as a PDA, the Kuitana sweetheart, Vitkaizo. So maybe because of the setup, uh, this is how you you are not publicizing Mukienda date at Mukienda apa mefanya EV so that people don't have anyone to fanyanga social media like they are showing you your li their lives, their dating lives. So keeping it private here means that uh, people already know that the two of you are dating but they do not know the ins and outs of your relationship. But now the tricky bit becomes point here. Do you now get to announce it publicly? Hey, by the way, uh, I'm going to update. Last time to am going to update. But it's an easy date. So I think breakups, eh? breakups are tricky. Uh, whether you announce the ball or not, they will just show. Mutu mwenye mengongwa na yundo, whether hapanya hivi, hama hapanya tutu wana do. Alfura. So, uh, okay, we may not, uh, personally I may not uh, have a view about, because if I'm dating someone and I love them, mm. uh, the, the right thing to do is, niseme, by the way I'm seeing someone, hata kama niseme me nani, I must know. But to kiachana, I don't think it's necessary to, to tell people to me a channel. Mm. The only thing is that ni mail, ni kopo, ni yende kwa mungine, ni mwambia by the way, nataka tu, tuweke kidole. Mm. I could read that, ni liyacha mkua na fulani mwambia, well, three months ago, ama ten years ago, uwe tuliyacha nanga. So I don't think, I think it should be targeted mm. audience when you unambia a breakup. Should not be uneka kwa status, uh, hello, I hope it's me again here. Mm. Subscribe here on my name by the um, last time. Status. Relationship status. Yangu. Nili, nili so, yeah. uh, nili, oh. I go to jump on yeah. what uh -huh. he said. So, the way you can tell so and so are dating, it's the same way you can tell so and so I may break up. Mm. Mm. When you turn our. Two people who are dating when I interact, you will always know mm. the way they talk to each other, the way they behave around people, you will always know. Now, Akiachana, Utajua too, because the way they interact, they are no longer, they are like, they are no longer close. Evil. So, still as you announce, people will just know that mm. you, you guys are no longer together. They, they will know. Sasa kwa nini hiyo part ya ya ku, ya ku date na kuachana tuko kwa youth setup so youth race una una, una date mtu eh, a lady chani sema tu yeah, lady, okay, lady, yeah. lady, sema lady. <laughs> you're dating a lady my number will be down here lady <laughs> <laughs> and then at some point mnaachana mm -hmm either una muacha ama una kuacha and then you get through a process probably because you are keeping it private 
uh, you get to a point where uh, you have healed for for you and now you need to to progress mm-hmm. now that you're progressing uh, let's say ume umeachana na morin and then umeona wendy pale for the audience part uh, part of our production crew kuna dem anaitwa wendy msupu <laughs> sana eh <laughs> so umeamua kuendea wendy mm. but wendy alikuwa anajua una una date morin now this this your it could be a fear it could be just general talk that uh, you could be perceived to be someone mwenye like you are after ladies uh, within within the ministry so what is the balance that once umeachwa ama umeachana uh, is the next step for you kuangalia into a different church ndio hapa within zile boundaries zenye unajulikana watu wasiseme ati una jump from one lady to another ama labda ulikatia ulikatia dem akakukata na ulionekana ni kama unapasua hapo and then umeendea mwingine juu ile alikukata uh, so what what's the balance and how probably should people take it when it's time for you now to move on to a different chapter in life that's a very good question uh, that uh, within our fellowship uh, our church our um, community where you live together there are people who are always tagged players whether they are real players or not uh, they are tagged now one of the things that you we need to know uh, as a community is that people always know talk because people people are friends kama kama na date morin whether it's a private relationship morin kuna watu wataambia na waenda waseme itakuwa hivyo ama nimemkatia na amekubali kuna watu wataenda waambie tu kwa hiyo nikienda nikatie wendi wendi pia ataambia watu so the sources of the tag player most of the time is that when people think they are too cunning that akiongelea huyu na mwambie let's keep it private naenda ongelea when let's keep it private na ambie ule so the private relationship would have gone kama 10 kwa hiyo fellowship because huyu usiambie mtu usiambie mtu kwa mtu ongea so italipuka siku moja akamwambia wacha nikwambie kitu but usiambie mtu because to agree no you fresh ako haji unajua we are dating mwenye anaambia we are also dating kwa hiyo you fresh mgani wacha nikwanzie picha kwa sababu ni inakuwa ni hivi So for you to ensure that either when you are dating be honest and genuine mm. in a community in a fellowship in a church amua unataka huyu kama unataka huyu mtu pasu huyo akikubali date yeye mm. akikataa hiyo shoko ya kutaliwa pia ina taking time kwenda mm. move on because because they talk me so the question was Uh, after we break up with leadership how long i think it depends not, with not necessarily how long yes. uh, the question is what what how, how should people within the the fellowship yes. handle such such a thing rather than probably um, you know probably from your point you could be um, you you have an objective uh, you intend to to progress on with life uh, from a different point of view it may come out as if you are um hoping from one uh, part another. to another so, so now how how should the ministry uh, in itself handle such uh, such issues um, so that it is not necessarily at ukisha kataliwa ukisha kataliwa ama uachwe ama uachane that the next step me because i it was within the ministry i will have to go into another ministry ndio uh, cause friction yeah uh, yes that's a very something that needs someone to think uh, because number one the nature of youth ministry everywhere that is almost a transitioning period so and for that transition to happen you need to interact with people talk with people so there are consequences of a breakup uh, that come automatically for example if i'm dating morin the the likelihood will have mutual friends mm. so when we break up the mutual friends we were having together some of them will take sides that 
Euphrates offended Maureen. So what I withdraw from me, you know, Zema, Maureen offended Euphrates. He takes this. So that can be a source of friction at a fellowship itself because But the other bit is that uh, so not everybody will say, but you phrase I got very serious and he break up, it was not planned. So again on date Wendy, and by chance, I'm a by coincidence they break up here and Wendy, Zema, and at Kuma Mustiana after three months and I'm watcha. So Kutoka kuto your tag kwam kwa kwako after what we are doing, some guys are going to be able to get your face at your own risk. At a good date, after three months, at a quarter. So, when such a scenario occurs, is there a remedy? I don't know. Because mm. even going outside the fellowship to another church, mm. at one point, we are going to be Now, what I am doing, what I am doing, by the way, eh, who can you stand? You are not going to be able to break your channel. So, we are going to be So, the best thing is in life is always. Be authentic with yourself and genuine with yourself. Because uh, when you are that way, I'm okay in the pale when Unamambia, by the way, to go on a date with you, now after some time to recosania one, two, three, four, five. Mm. So that when you are authentic and genuine, the tags that come along in fellowships mm. as it affect and as it could. But when unataka uku and a reputation very perfect. That reputation it are doing your character, some of those coincidences that happen that you may not have control over. Joshua. Yeah. So, so uh, I think to avoid, uh, I want to explain to avoid being tagged player. I think most people who are tagged players, they are not really players. It's because I feel like, mo okay, let me talk like as CC ladies. CC ladies, most of us misunderstand men most of us misunderstand someone who is just trying to be your friend and someone who wants something more than just friendship so i just feel like like everyone should avoid conversations that lead someone on you might just be you just um want just a mere friendship. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to be nice to someone. You're just being a good friend, but someone misunderstands. Anaona ah um si ananikatia. So inakuwa ah si alinikatia pia. Now that's not true. Inakuwa mm -hmm. like mtu tu is just generally nice ama the way he talks. Maybe so, jokingly Maureen, una pata so, wase wana. Yeah, my question mm -hmm. to you as you conclude uh, as you continue is that so we need to be kind to one another, right? Yeah. Kind, um, generous, not way, free, mm. and open. Kwamse. So at what level of kindness, ama mse kukuwa mpoa, is it considered they are leading you on? Because kama mimi ni naona, generally I'm a kind person to everyone. So and you, you perceive anyone who is kind to you, they are pursuing you. Mm. So when I'm kind to you, what do you Wendy? By the other little you phrase, ali nisaf chai. Ali nisaf chai. I can say conversations that lead someone on. Like, I feel like when someone compliments you more than five times, wakona agenda. Leo ni mkupata na kumbi unaka vizuri or kama unashinda uki notice the small small things. Na pia bitu kama like sini kutafte at the end of the week we go text uh, like like today to kunyoka chai or some like I. I don't really know iso mm. iso words kabisa like zenye zineza lead mtu on but kuna tu the way someone you, the way you interact with mtu mwenye uko na in, uko interested nae usifanye hivyo kwa kila mtu like avoid iso conversation like do, like don't be overly f like too friendly too friendly to, like kukwe na boundaries even the way you talk isikuwa tu au naka vizuri leo napenda dress yako uko na Uh, yeah. So, so, so the same is maybe for you, Benyanani and Asema. If if someone comes and compliments compliments your girlfriend, uh, Beleako, 
eh, is it is it something that for you you take uh, lightly ama you feel like eh hey, apa hivi inaanza kuwa red flag okay uh, i would take that in two perceptions mm-hmm. one is um, i can absolutely be okay with that because mm-hmm. i would also expect that um this this particular girl or lady I'm dating mm. has friends na one is tunaweza kuwa tulikuwa mabeshte mm. and i know that they even some lady friends and you know that you are a friend with lady a and you know lady a is dating a certain guy so from like that basic understanding that these people have a friendship mm. i wouldn't take an offense mm. but when it comes to just when you say ma like it kind of becomes specialized and kind of goes overboard mm-hmm. i would start to raise questions definitely mm-hmm. but yeah from the basic understanding that she has other friends then a compliment or two does no harm mm-hmm. yeah okay. me i think naweza naweza skip by kama kama ame compliment you na mimi na mimi sijam compliment one inaweza kuwa ni kama msa anakuja kukutoanisha tu mbele yake kwambia ati eh uko na nywele poa na hiyo the whole day huku mwambia uko na nywele poa eh ulitaka kus- yeah kwa- one example sorry mm. one example is is communication via the phone mm. if someone is is your friend if you guys are just friends i don't see a point of you talking every day mm. asubuhi good morning umeamkaje umekula nini ikifika conversation ikianza kufika hapo mm. unaanza ku throw hints who mm. uh, I want something with you mm. so avoid conversations kama hizo umekula nini leo especially ikifika mali mnaongea asubuhi lunch time jioni the next mm. day ivo you three course uh, yeah inakuwa three course meal no we cannot so sasa maybe now for you uh, to kirudi to EVP like what what would you see in a man and say that Uh, it's a green flag for you so it's time to go yeah uh, number one is good communication mm. and by good comi- by good communication i mean at least you talk to me uh, anybody who says that i can go the whole day w- without talking to the person i love you know wongo who was the end of the whole day without kuongea na it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys need to talk all the time like to naongea Mm. but at least talk to them at least maybe twice a day yeah. good communication and also apo to kwa communication someone who can communicate to you the plans mm. plans wako nayo like where are we going uh, maybe maybe hata before we endele mm. now talking about someone when you have not started dating but umemwona ukaona eh hey, this is a green flag oh oh yeah, yeah. um I say how they interact with people mm. especially if he is a man of course he is a man for me uh how he interacts with 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 ladies mm. and even how he, he interacts with friends he should have healthy healthy relationship with friends is he go to him to a mekosa na kosa na na watu because that's another big red flag mm. Mm. Um another thing is maybe intellectual capacity mm. how they think mm. uh their maturity level mm. it should be someone who is really mature and i can also touch on growth when it comes to growth is how is their growth uh career wise where are they in life because eh kuna mtu uh, like atuwezi kula mapenzi <laughs> tunaita <laughs> we will need money at some point so yeah. ata kama yuko financially stable at the moment but mm. where is he going mm. yeah and then i can say someone who is aware of the like aware of just things in life ukutu unajua vitu sikuwe clueless yeah 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 I think that's it from Joshua we unaweza ona maybe vile mtu anafikiria alafu useme I I can't work with this uh, in terms of your intellectual capacity uh, I think intellectual capacity um definitely 
I would want to match up to the level of someone intellectually. Uh-huh. I think that goes for both ladies and gentlemen. So I think it's just a matter of can we reason together? Mm-hmm. If I can answer that then uh-huh. I would be I would be I'd be okay. Okay, so now um now for you now what would you see in a lady that you feel now this is approachable ako ready for me to approach eh unaangalia na unasema now this is my green flag uh, green flag okay um that is from my interaction or someone have just no met. green flag ni zako like the the there are ladies pale and there's this one that you have spotted and you have seen things that you consider as green flag so what what would you say that i have some of your green flags that you can see and pursue that lady okay for me i would give two uh, one being someone who is godly okay i know this might sound so cliche but is is this person really pursuing their relationship with god mm. so for me if if i'm if i'm able to establish that uh that that for me would be a green flag like her relationship with god comes first before we even get to the horizontal relationships and then i think also for me is uh, someone who is clothed with them um, the way the bible says the quiet the unfading beauty of a quiet and a gentle spirit um because that gives someone the inner beauty and not just what i'm seeing not just what i'm t- i'm attracted to physically so for me um a quiet gentle and a calm spirit then that would really be the other measure that i can say this attic but now sir how do you me- you ya ku measure the, the calm spirit ni unajua jamani ni by the fruit <laughs> okay <laughs> okay not no blood pressure <laughs> 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 blood pressure you need to come up with calm okay but i think from from just interacting with people there are some some ladies who will just in the way they express themselves you you can you can mark out that someone is really calm and yeah. even if they have been offended they'll not they not like really blow things out of proportion mm. or even just the way they generally express themselves so yeah there are always ways to tell someone if someone is gentle quiet mm-hmm. calm i think for me that's unseen beauty so as a you face now is like green flag sasa si nikisema nitaanza kukujiwa kama watu wanze na zume utukianza umesema namba yako iko hapo chini sorry nikisema watu wataanza kubivi but seriously number one i think for me is physical attraction unajua watu wanaangopanga kusema hivyo kwa hivyo mimi sitaendea mtu acha kusema mtu so nione mtu hivi tu nione aki aki kako fine hiyo ni ya kwanza so nikishaona kako fine ndio nitaenda the other things that will concern because kako fine itafanya tu Mm. to lay watoto ama tukue wazazi ama tufanye so ya pili ni emotional intelligence and the reason why emotional intelligence is very key for me we sahi wa audio yetu imekuwa ya visu kuana kunyongana so is there someone who can handle conflict mistakes because those are things that we'll be doing i'm not perfect i'm not an angel me ni you face muli ni kona mashida so mtu anaenda handle hizo shida si atakuja I expect oh you need to be like my dad na babake ni mlevi so good. so emotional intelligence mm. ni ni muhimu sana ndio niseme who them mm. uh, sita sema zote na maybe ngine nitaangalia is the reasoning capacity ya mtu mm. mm. because when an reason it, it will say a lot how our communication technique will be kuna mtu ye yeah, aki reason ana re, yani ana reason ni kama yeye ni robot mwenye unapanza kumweka fuel for a to function so because me i am not there to data robot lazima niangalie the reasoning capacity kama ni mtu a reason we can stay together as humans but ya kwani nisema physical attraction in case musahau physical attraction eh so hata ni mata slide hata wale muda slide utatuma picha kwanza Well, okay so maybe we we will go with a round of parting shots uh so that as we as we end this but the 
key thing that we are getting is that different people have different things that they consider that this is a red flag uh, for them. Uh, this is a green flag for them. And I think uh, it's important to articulate to the person that you are relating with or intending to relate with some of the things that uh, maybe for you, Vile uh, Tukwa Kusema Morina ki highlight that some boundaries needs to be set, that you're getting into this thing knowing that this is the far that you can go. This is uh, the thing that you would consider ideal for the two of you to, to continue. So for each and every single person, it's different, but it's good to communicate to to people clearly um, that uh, these are the values uh, or ideals that uh, are closer to your heart. Um, so getting into uh, the Valentine or the month of love, um, not saying that at this is the only month that people uh, ought to love each other or express their love the most, uh, but just because it offers us a chance to talk about and maybe because love is in the air, uh, show things to do with love, um, it's, it's really important for us to consider that this love that we are expressing is God-given and uh, he, he is love. The Bible says that God... God is love, and the love that we are expressing to everyone is the love that we have received from God. So whether it's romantically or any other form of love, it's coming directly uh, from God. So as we uh, look forward into um, talking about love and expressing love to uh, people out there, let us remember that it's all about God. So even as we close, we can have some parting shot, maybe something that you would want the audience to know, something that you wanted to talk about and you feel like you want to express it. Uh, maybe in like 30 seconds, you could be able to say that as we as we wrap up. So Tnezanza na Maureen. Okay, so... Uh, this is what I will want everybody to know is know when the red flags become deal breakers. Uh, there are some red flags that you can compromise, but there are some red flags which they become deal breakers. When, okay, know when to leave. At the moment, a lot is going on whereby wase wana 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 ovyo ovyo if things are not working just walk away and this is to mostly has ladies if you know that this person who is interested in you auko interested it's not two way kindly be kind enough to walk up to tell them do most of the ladies wana sema ah sina jana yeye but acha ni kule pesa zake so Unakula pesa za mtu, by the time you you don't want, you really want to say no. Inafika mahali, someone has really spent a lot on you. So in, inafika hapo mali, tunongelea story na kifu, na, eh, na visu, and etc. And also, let's avoid kuangalia sana relationships za, za social media. Because I feel like social media is misleading a lot of us. Uh, most, uh, mostly as ladies utasikia mtu anasema nataka mse anakuja na hii na hii na hii nataka Mercedes Benz nataka mtu anakuja na pesa i want this and this but ask yourself first what do you have yeah so let's be cautious enough uh, get to know someone first before you 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 move things to maybe the next level yeah i think that's it for me so sour uh, for me, it's just uh, in as much as we would be, we are so keen to look at red flags and green flags. Um, 
always remember that you attract the same kind of energy that you give out to people and so um if i'm looking for this set or if i'm this kind of a person chances are that i'll attract the same exact on the other end and if you're also that type of person you'll also attract the same character on this end so in as much as we are looking for the red flags and the green flags you always attract what you are yeah, that's my parting shot just a so, minute so. just just a minute to add on what Joshua just said uh when you come up with your list that this is the kind of person i want and afa kuna qualities ask yourself will you be that person for him or for her before you say nataka mtu akona hizi qualities do you have those qualities so before you make a decision whereby you want someone in your life with such and such a qualities work on yourself as to be the better version of yourself so sawa you fresh okay thank you uh, i think it has been an amazing discussion so although tumeongelea red flags and green flags our discussion was not to say that there are people who don't have weaknesses so weaknesses are not red flags mm. they only become red flags if someone has a trait or behavior that they are not willing to change and uh, they are so adamant and they are so proud that at an acquisition for your face this thing is not there but uh, <clears throat> for us to as christians uh, our first red flag if we are dating is if our relationship is not godly sawa sawa uh, if our relationship is not godly that's a first red flag and especially if you are believers uh from me i think um and maybe for someone who has been um heartbroken before you would be you you would be probably uh, navigating towards looking for red and green flags all over the place as opposed to trying and finding that person for you so for me i would uh, what i would like to tell uh, all of you is that focus on the person um red and green flags if if you have your own red and green flags they will come out and you will know about them but uh, if you are hell bent on trying to find any red flag in a person uh, before you probably want to commit you will find them if you want to find any wrong thing in anything you will you will find it but if you focus on the person themselves uh you would get to see the red flags then uh, um you can work with and you can see the red flags then uh, for you they could be deal breakers and you end it but if you do not focus on the person um i don't think you would be able to love those people genuinely but you will just be trying to be fine that as jaona makosa kwake so we are living and yet there is no that personal uh, relationship uh, between you two but the kama mna police each other so thank you so much uh, for joining us in this discussion today on red and green flags and we really appreciate uh, your uh, participation uh, within this forum and we call upon you to share um, our our videos with your friends comment subscribe and like it helps us with the algorithm and we will be able to get this message out to the world and to everyone who really needs it so this has been denver and this has also been steadfast pursuit on at his feet podcast see you in the next uh, episode thank you mm-hmm.